what's going on guys so here we're going to add chat cn sidebar to this app so as you can see chat cn has this new sidebar component and it's got all this documentation here but i'm going to make it easy for you guys and show you how quickly a, you can add it to your website so let's get started so as you can see this is the website that i'm working on my next project i'll be releasing on my channel uh, and as i can see i have this menu right here right and if I go mobile, then you, the menu disappears. So it'll be nice if you can use the chat CN sidebar and maybe add a hamburger icon here that when we click, boop, we get a nice sidebar menu. Right, so how can we do that? Well, let's get started. So let's come over here to my code. So I'm assuming you already have chat CN, everything installed. If not, just come over here and to the installation and where did it go and then you can just follow the method it's pretty straightforward anyway so we're going to go to here the uh sidebar and i'm going to copy this we're going to npm and i'm going to come here and we're going to do install cool with that done as you can see if i come to my ui and i have a sidebar right here amazing all right so what they're saying here is here you can actually copy these colors if you want but actually when you install this uh, sidebar, if you go to your global CSS file, it actually copies them for you and you are good to go. But just in case these are not copied over, so what you can do is just come here, copy them from here like this, and then just paste them in your global.css file. All right, so here to talk about the structure of the sidebar, just sidebar header and this, we're gonna explore that. And now let's get down to the usage of it. All right, so they're saying start with the layer.tsx files. You can add the sidebar here and you need to create an app bar for that. So let's start with the app bar first. So come over here to your components and then we're gonna create a new file and I'm gonna call it app-sidebar.tsx like that. All right, then what I will do is I'll say RFCE and I'll say app bar and whoop app sidebar and like that all right so that's that so what you need is you can create uh, an object that's going to have your menu item so then you can just iterate through it and just show your sidebar so i'm going to do const and i'm going to do menu items okay items and then it's going to be an array and then it's going to be an object like that so let's just do let's say title all right so i'm going to do title and i'm going to give it a title of home and then i'm going to do a url so of course going to go to my home and the next thing you want to give it is an icon so i'm going to do icon and i'm going to do home like this and we're going to bring it from lucid react like that all right so you're going to just copy this and then whatever menu items you have you're just going to repeat it for that so let's say i'm going to do one more i'm going to do catalog and let's say this go to my catalog and then for this one what i'll do i'll say library like this from lucid react cool so now that i have my menu items created so what we can do is we can all come here and we can actually get rid of all of this and then what i will do i'll say sidebar from ui sidebar and then what we can do is we're going to do sidebar content okay like that and then we're going to start coding so you can just type it or what i can do is i can come here and let's see they have an app sidebar do, 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 right here so you can just copy all of this okay and there's no need to type it and then i'm gonna just paste it here okay so it's gonna complain about all this thing so we're just gonna bring these here and then the label and then the content and then the menu and then i have my menu items here so i'm just gonna bring that here and boom your sidebar is actually ready so for this one i'll just call it library uh, we don't actually need the group so what i will do is i'm gonna just take all of this and actually all of this and we can just take this out of the group and then put it here maybe you don't want a group so you can just do like that so i'm going to save this and let's see it's giving me this warning because i have these unused components so i'll get rid of that all right cool so now you're going to come to your layer.tsx and we're going to start using this so what i will do is if i come here then let's see do, 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 i'm here so what i will do is i'm going to do sidebar sidebar provider you need the sidebar provider just like you have the react context thing i'm pretty sure it's the same thing so we do this app bar sorry sidebar provider so that's my sidebar provider but now it if i come to my app it's not going to show here if i just minimize or maximize nothing's going to happen because 
you need to add the app bar right the app sidebar actually that's where the action is so what I will do is I'm gonna come here and what I will do is I will say app sidebar like that Wah. okay let's save it and boom there you go your sidebar is coming how cool is that all right so if I look at it now as you can see it's pushing the component over so what you can do is make it something called like floating so let's go to here and let's go to our sidebar right here and we're going to do variant and let's see what they have they're floating so i'm going to save it and there you go so now it's floating on the left side which is pretty cool but anyways we want to take this a little bit further and you know what uh, i have this menu here i don't want to see it here but I want to show it on the on let's say mobile devices right so I want to hide it here but I want to show it like on mobile devices maybe have a kind of hamburger icon like that all right so how do we do that so for that I what what for that what we can do is we can add something called like a sidebar trigger and so what I have is I have a header component so let me move over to my header component right here and then in my header component as you can see I have my logo here so what I will do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna do sidebar trigger like that and then I'm gonna give it a class name so you can just add any um, you know uh, class names to it and then uh, I'll do MD so on uh, medium and above it's hidden and I'm just gonna give it a margin left of let's say four like that so let me save it and see what happens look at that all right so when you click it boom instantly you are getting a nice sidebar but now there's another problem this sidebar is still showing up so I don't want to see this on um, you know on desktop so how can we fix that all right so for that there's the property called default open and as you can see it's somewhere in the docs here but what you can do is you can actually go back to your let's say the main layout and on the sidebar provider I'm gonna do default open and we're gonna set this to say false so we're saying by default you know what stay closed all right so let's check it out if I come here and let's just refresh boom there you go the sidebar is gone and there you go so if I just minimize that's my desktop sorry mobile As you can see I got a nice uh, sidebar but if I go uh, let's say mobile and then I'm seeing it like this now there might be one problem is if you're uh, let me see there's one problem if I remove this class on main that doesn't come by default then it screws up your uh, layout so what you need to do is on your main you want to keep this class name of it dash full so that will actually fix your layout and there you go that's done so there you go that's how you can add a shad cn sidebar very quickly to a react project by now